Uh, in this video, we'll be discussing uh, conversion of uh, pressure heads uh, from uh, specific fluid to other types of fluids. So, like example dito is uh, mercury, kasi mercury is a uh, heavy metal. So, ibig sabihin, mas, uh, less, at saka less prone siya to temperature and pressure changes. So, parang kahit na maliit lang na amount ng mercury, uh, pwede siya mag-represent ng malalaking amounts ng pressure. So, kaya madalas na ginagamit na column of fluid to measure pressure head is uh, mercury. No? So, anyway, nasa hydrostatic pressure pa rin tayo na, na topic. No? So, for this problem, we're going to uh, determine kung ano yung equivalent na height ng uh, water, kerosene, and nectar pag meron tayong 277 millimeters of mercury. Okay? So, meron tayong given na specific gravity for kerosene and specific gravity for nectar. And then yun, uh, kukonvert lang natin, no? anong, ano kaya, ano pag, pag, uh, pag same uh, column, for example, same diameter ng uh, cylinder, ng pisometer, for example, uh, how much height, kaya, no? o gano'n ka uh, taas na height, pag water, yun, no? hindi mercury. So, 277 mm lang na pressure equivalent na mercury, so that's uh, point, hindi, wala, wala pang 0.3 na meters, no? so mga ganyang height lang. So, ganyan, no? So, anyway, so start tayo sa water. So, ibig sabihin, kasi dapat equivalent yung kukunin natin, ibig sabihin, parehong pressure ng water at parehong pressure ng mercury, okay? And then, the equation for pressure is just unit weight times height. So, both, kailangan natin uh, express in terms of these equations, no? Unit weight times height, unit weight times height ng uh, mercury at water. So, hinahanap natin dito is the H water. So, known na yung H na H, Hg, which is uh, 277 mm or millimeters and then of course alam natin yung unit weight din no? so yun uh, since we're going to find the uh, ito yung h ng water so ito yun no i rearrange natin so i divide natin yung unit weight dito maging ganito no? so unit weight ng mercury is just uh, 13.6 by the way the specific gravity of mercury para hindi niyo makalimutan dapat hindi niyo makalimutan yan no uh, kasi, kasi nga, yun na, na mentioned ko earlier, lagi siyang ginagamit. So, 13.6. And then, uh, to determine the unit weight of mercury, multiply mo lang yung specific gravity times unit weight ng water. So, 13.6 times 9.81. Again, itong mga equation na to, galing lang din to sa equation ng specific gravity. Kasi specific gravity is just equal to the ratio ng unit weight mo ng fluid divided by the unit weight of water. So, kaya ganito, no? Uh, okay, unit weight of mercury, and then this uh, height of mercury divided by the unit weight of water equals 37.62.2 uh, millimeters, or that's 3.77 meters. So, tina mo yung uh, tina natin dito yung difference no? sa mercury lang at the same particular pressure 0.277 lang. So hindi mo na siya umabot ng 0.3 meters na height. No? Pero pag uh, water yung gamitin mo to represent that uh, pressure, aabot siya ng lagpas pa ng 3 meters, no? which is uh, lagpas pa siguro ng isang floor, no? isang floor ng building. So, yan yun. Yan yung equivalent na pressure. Kaya, ano, 13 times mas mabigat kasi yung mercury kaysa water. So, anyway, that's just uh, the process. No? And then, uh, ito, no? pag, pag kerosene naman, same na procedure, we have uh, ito na uh, pressure mercury is uh, the same with pressure kerosene then yun um, substitute lang natin ito hindi naman magbabago itong numerator natin dito naman magbabago lang sa denominator no? so unit weight ng kerosene is 0.82 specific gravity of kerosene times unit weight ng water so equivalent na height is uh, roughly 4.59 meters okay? that's for kerosene so mas mataas pa yung kerosene kaysa water kasi mas light yung uh, lighter yung kerosene kaysa water. Okay? So, for, hanggang 4.5 meters or 4.6 meters. Pag nectar naman, which is uh, heavier than uh, water and kerosene, kasi 2.94 yung specific gravity niya, meron pa rin yung procedure. So, 2.94 lang times 9.81 magbabago. So, medyo hindi ganun kataas. No? 1.28 meters. Pero, medyo mataas pa rin. No? So, anyway, kung na-observe nyo dito sa equation natin, kung gusto nyo nang medyo mabilisan, pwede kasing mag-cancel yung uh, 9.81 dito. No? So, pag ganito na mag-involve lang ng uh, conversion from one fluid to another, pwede lang i-divide yung dalawang specific gravity. No? So, numerator yung base fluid mo. Kung 
kung ano yung i-convert tapos height niya to, to 77 for example tapos i-divide mo lang ng specific gravity nung pagko-convertan okay so pwedeng idiretso lang na 13.6 times 277 divided by 2.94 di ba pareho lang din dito sa kanina pwedeng 13.6 times 277 divided by 0.82 and then kung sa water naman Uh, 13.6 times 277 divided by 1. Kasi 1 lang naman specific gravity ng water. Okay? So, yun lang. No? Kung, kung gusto ng mga shortcut-shortcut, pwede lang ganun. No? Kasi magkakansel lang, magkakansel lang naman yung unit weight ng water dito. So, again, numerator yung uh, base fluid natin. Tapos, denominator yung uh, kung saan natin ko-convert. But anyway, pag, pag mga ganyan-ganyan kasi medyan nakaka, nakakalimutan, nagra-rumble-rumble yung mga equation. So, mas mabuti pa rin na bumalik kayo dito na, sa kung saan siya kinuha and then yun dahan-dahanin tapos hanggang sa makuha ulit okay so minsan kasi magbabaliktad yung uh, numerator tsaka denominator no? so magiging mali na and then yun yun lang yung pag-convert ng uh, uh, pressure head from a specific fluid from a base fluid to another um, equivalent na height for another fluid so again Uh, thank you for uh, joining and see you sa next na upload natin.